Guys, did you know that Jason Blundell is leaving Deviation Games and he left Treyarch, so now he's going to leave Deviation Games? Top five reasons why Jason Blundell left Deviation Games. Guys, obviously this video is completely true. This is not a joke. Blundell didn't die. Uh, this is all 100% real, not total speculation, oh, man, oh, man. and time will definitely tell us what's going on. Oh, the number five spot is the most unlikely, while well, the number one spot is the truth that I absolutely know. Stop the cap. <laughs> Coming into our number five spot, I'm telling you guys, Jason Bundell had a fallout with his development crew. You need to know this, as many of you probably have no idea by now. Much of the development that you love seeing in Black Ops 2, Mob of the Dead and Origins, Black Ops 3, Oh, and Black Ops 4 was created by the amazing talent that now works at Deviation Games. Obviously, Deviation Games isn't just comprised of the talent from Black Ops. As you can see, it's also from this massive list right here. Uh, this includes Battlefield, Apex Legends, Assassin's Creed, Halo, God of War and World of Warcraft for some reason. Uh, they left Treyarch to join Blundell after the painful, excruciating events of Black Ops 4. And for real, y'all think Blundell having a fallout with his boys is legit? I mean, why, man? JC left Alabama right after he graduated university to go to LA to help pioneer this game. All I gotta say is imagine hiring all your talented friends to do a group project with you and then last second, you just say, psych, I'm out. Y'all dumb for real. Number four, Jason Waddell had a family emergency. Listen, judging by the post that Deviation Games just put out on Twitter, you would think that they would have mentioned that this homie has to dip to help save the queen or something. I know my man's is from the UK, judging from that random Easter egg he put in Revelations, but to be honest, it mentions that Jason has had a contribution on this Deviation Games project. So regardless of whatever is going to happen, this is going to have some of that Jason Blundell juice that you all love from Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and... Black Ops 4. Oh. We obviously know this game is speculated to be a continually updated FPS to release in 2024. And some of y'all are saying that it's gonna be on Mars. I've had it. no more of this Mars talk. If you talk about Shangri-La being on Mars, this game be on Mars, I'm gonna put y'all on Mars. So if anything, I don't really have less faith in this game now that he's gone. It just reminds me of when Ninja left to Mixer for that one year and made a big deal and just said, psych, now I'm back on Twitch. But actually now he's back on Twitch. Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram for some reason. So Blundell ain't dead, nor do I think he is related to the Queen. Now coming into the number three spot, Jason Mundell got hired by another company. I actually talked about this a lot on my last stream yesterday because I really had thought that this was the one that made the most sense at one point. Uh, but also my game disconnected on round 134 on a round 150 classified Easter egg run after 10 hours and I'm completely uninstalling Black Ops 4 for life. If any of you guys tell me to play that game, I'm literally coming to your house and suing you. Uh, anyways, the Deviation Games website has also took out all mentions of Jason Bundell, which would make sense to me if he had signed a non-disclosure agreement to work for another company. Uh, but for people saying he's going back to Treyarch to work on Chaos, look at me right now. What the hell is wrong with you? You think Activision would pay eight to nine figures to get this man to come back to work on Chaos that approximately eight people have played with no creative control? Are you out of your mind? They thought I was the delusional one. Then I had thought, okay, well, maybe it was another big FPS company that Blundell could align with, like Rockstar for GTA 6 or Epic Games, you know, maybe they're doing something, or Naughty Dogs or EA with Apex. But as I kept going down the rabbit hole of an Easter egg like Milo was talking about, nothing made any sense, really. I mean, even if it was similar to a streaming contract where he's realigned somewhere for a year and then comes back, it doesn't really align with why he would leave his own studio with the most creative control. Now, coming into our number two spot, Jason Bundell got reassigned somewhere else by Sony. This really made sense to me as Sony's in the process of creating some massive single player IPs right now, you know, like God of War and stuff, which it, you know, it wouldn't be totally out of the question if Blundell was temporarily reassigned. Again, no mention of this is put in the announcement, and the CEO of PlayStation, good old Herman, went to the Deviation Game Studio not too long ago, and it's not out of the question that he could be temporarily reassigned. We don't know the extent currently of how Deviation Games and Sony are partners, as in if the game will be solely on PlayStation, or if it's being funded by PlayStation, or Blundell and Herman are just good buds at the end of the day. I mean, we really just don't know. All we can guess is that Herman told Blundell we need to revitalize the youth and put him on another project. So I'm saying, okay, I mean, he knows how to get a community stirred up. I mean, look at the zombies community. It makes me laugh, though, because I can just imagine JC in a corner watching both Herman and Blundell as he just... <laughs> 
as they just leave him in a corner. I'm coming into our number one spot. I really believe that this is obviously the most uh, obvious with the entire thing. Uh, I think this is just issues with uh, development or sometimes bridging companies. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys were around or even alive when Modern Warfare 2 originally came out back in 2010, not the one that's coming out right now. Uh, but uh, ba basically what had happened is Activision had a big fallout with Infinity Ward at the time and the two major developers of Infinity Ward left to make a bunch of different companies which sort of spawned Titanfall and then after Titanfall and a couple of rearrangements and working with EA and stuff, they finally formed Apex Legends so it was a massive process especially because Apex Legends took almost eight years after they had left Modern Warfare 2 back in 2010 to form so I believe that that is kind of the process that we're seeing right now we're seeing some sort of bridging companies problem where essentially you know Blundell had a great opportunity to grab a lot of people from Treyarch, which essentially Deviation Games is now Treyarch, by the way. And uh, it really doesn't make sense as to what is going on. Obviously, I think it will be make more sense once time unveils, but it's probably just multiple developers entering and exiting companies. I mean, it's so common within the gaming studio. It's like Andrew Tate with all of his Bugattis. As you enter one, you exit another. Again, I don't think it necessarily it's because Sony has too much creative control over Deviation Games. I feel like that was something they really wanted to solidify after the time with their partnership. But it might just be that certain aspects of development have gone wrong and new companies need to be made and reassigned for this game. Regardless, this was a fantastic marketing move and a great way for me to make another video about Blundell for all of y'all to be informed. It's unfortunate because I do believe that there is no renaissance coming from Blundell here because a lot of people are speculating, oh, he's coming back for zombies. Oh, he's going to make that 2023 standalone Call of Duty Zombies game. I'm telling y'all lads, I am almost 100% positive he's not coming back to make any of that. And it's just interesting because I think the answer will probably unveil faster than we realize at this point. And again, I think it's a good point to also mention that, you know, Blundell was an amazing person and he had a great great connection with this community which a lot of developers cannot say and I think that's extremely valuable but unfortunately you don't really see that a lot in today's day and age with certain developers and I can understand why a lot of publishing companies would want to essentially reassign him because I mean where do you see any of the type of impact that Blundell has left for a lot of other gaming studios I mean it's rare like Epic Games kind of now like is more involved with the studios and more involved with the community and I mean I believe that's the whole reason that JC is brought into Deviation Games, is for him to connect the community and also the gaming development scene, which has been something that I have been pleading for on my channel now for literally 10 years. And again, Blundell is just one man. He can't create an entire game by himself. He, oh, he's always also said that when he was at Treyarch and making sure that people understand that he is just the person that directs. There is a massive amount of influence and development that is going on behind the scenes. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.